in support of the policy of deterrence. There's been a lot of debate lately over the U.S. strategy of surrounding nations like Russia and China with war machinery in order to deter them from aggressive actions. Some argue that since powerful nations tend to respond aggressively to the amassing of military threats on their borders, this policy actually provokes the very aggressions its proponents claim it prevents. And to those people I say, hogwash. Only peaceful and harmonious responses can possibly be expected from policies of military encirclement. That's why I propose that the People's Liberation Army should begin militarily encircling the continental United States with Chinese war machinery as quickly as possible in order to deter future U.S. aggression around the world. The U.S. has, after all, been the single most aggressive government on the world stage for generations now. It has repeatedly invaded and staged regime change operations against its neighbors in Latin America to say nothing of its military aggressions and proxy warfare in nations like Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Iraq, Afghanistan, Libya, Syria, and Yemen. No other government has spent the 21st century killing people by the millions in wars of aggression. No other government has been surrounding the planet with hundreds of military bases, deliberately targeting civilian populations with deadly force around the world via starvation sanctions, and working continuously to topple any government on earth which disobeys its dictates. Only the U.S. has. Therefore, as a super-serious foreign policy pundit, I recommend that China begin working with the leftist governments in Latin America which have contentious relationships with Washington, and establishing some military alliances of mutual defense, ideally including Russia and Iran in those alliances as well. Hopefully Mexico will allow China to begin building missile systems and military bases along the U.S. border, and the Chinese Navy can continually patrol U.S. coastlines to ensure that its aggressions remain fully contained. Some of the people with whom I've shared this proposal objected that it would instantly provoke a war and result in a great increase in the military violence I aim to deter, including increasing the likelihood of nuclear war. So naturally, I screamed at those people and called them appeasers and White House propagandists. You're basically another Neville Chamberlain, I shrieked. If it had been up to you, we'd have appeased Hitler and made deals with Nazi Germany. You American troll. You Biden puppet. These people just don't understand how deterrence works. If history has shown us anything, it's that amassing military threats on the borders of powerful nations only ever leads to peace and love, and has never caused anything bad to happen at any time ever. I am a reasonable person. Everyone should listen to me. Give me a big house and a senior fellowship at an influential think tank.